is this a real life thing that we're filming? Is this for real? <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, two three. three. We're, we're moving! moving. Yes. After four years of doing homes for other people, We have our own house. Did I just do a backflip, by the way? <laughs> you somersault. I think I'm gonna throw oh up. Oh my gosh. Today is December 22nd. We are three days away from Christmas, and we found out yesterday that place that we offered on that we thought we would never get. Oh, it's a townhouse. 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 That we really liked, so they won't pull asking price. Okay. Right. Say yes. I don't know, I don't trust it. You she's, better she's find out. So I don't, right I'm, I'm skeptical. Can I tell? We found out that we closed. <laughs> we also have to move out of our current place by tomorrow. Tomorrow. December 23rd. My brain is just like this. I can't say anything right now. I just we gotta get this going. This is us. Is us. <laughs> currently 7 a.m. and we are headed to buy packing boxes, packing tape, trash bags. Get some wet shopping carts. <laughs> also our house is decorated for Christmas. Are we moving our Christmas tree, like our fully decorated Christmas tree? Yeah, we'll take tree? the bush with us. Haven't wrapped all of our gifts. Also, we're hosting Christmas Eve now at my parents' house. I'm like really sweating. You're making me, it's, you're making, making it you worse. Stress out. Yeah. Okay, well, the more you talk about it. <laughs> On our way home, we have the packing boxes, tape, and honestly, a bunch of trash bags. <laughs> That's where we're at. Everything's going in trash bags. The other thing I realized we forgot to mention, which makes this situation far less dramatic, is that we're very last minute renting our place to a travel nurse. She needs a furnished home. All of our big furniture, for the most part, is gonna stay, but everything and all the cupboards, all the tiny stuff, all of our clothes, all that has to come out. Honestly, that makes me more nervous than moving big furniture. How do you feel? Kitchen stuff sucks because it's all breakable. But I'm really glad that we were able to rent our place because, like I said, we didn't find out that we were getting this new home until yesterday, officially, and someone is moving in tomorrow. Checking in at 4.45. It has been a pretty long day. Did you have any meltdowns today? Yeah. You took care <laughs> of me for a second, though. Yeah. We took one load of stuff to my parents' house, but as it turns out, we have so much stuff. We're For a 690 square foot house. We're not done Imagine yet. Imagine if it was like a three bedroom, two bath, 1500 no, square feet no, that no. we've lived in for like 20 years. No. no, but we have to be out tomorrow by four. Actually, we have to be done tomorrow by noon because that's when the housekeeper is coming oh to help gosh. us clean. Erica, what a goddess, is coming over to help us tomorrow. Like the day before Christmas Eve, I speaks volumes about her. True friends, people who come over to help you move. It's either taking you to LAX or doing this, helping you move. Don't worry, I'm gonna buy them a vacation. And you, we should take you to Disneyland. Actually, I don't know if that's a vacation for your parents, but. What do you think? Oh, she's like, who is that? 7.30 a.m. on December 23rd, and we're gonna show you guys inside our new house. We're insane. Two days before Christmas. <laughs> When and I saw home. just the door, I'm like, we're buying this place. I don't have to see door. anything else. I love the Hashtag door. door. But look at this super high it's window. It's like 20 feet tall. This is very mid-century detail, as is the light outside, and you'll see even like upstairs what it looks like. But you walk in the front door, and it's just like open 
concept baby, but you know, why do you think I like this room? Besides this room Patrick fireplace. A real fireplace. A real That's why you like it. A think fireplace, which I don't know, TBD. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea for me to be like burning logs in my own house, but details. We're going to update it, of course. What do you think we should do here? Well, you've been talking about putting some stone on top of this. That might be cool. Like, like the mid century kind of stone that y'all have been seeing on the social media. Either that, or I'm thinking like a zealish tile in a more neutral, like terracotta vibe. Did and they then, make a cheap version of that? Because isn't that like $45 per piece? And then the floors, these are the original wood floors. We are actually keeping these floors. And we're just gonna stain them a more modern, brighter color. Yeah, like a white oak kind of color, but I'm so glad that we're not getting rid of these because I honestly don't think I could emotionally like do that. But you know what I can't do? What? Tear this kitchen to shreds. We are very hoping that we can take this thing out. Very hoping. Very hoping. Very hoping. It's not load bearing, I don't think, but there are some water lines in there, so we're gonna have to figure out how to <laughs> underground somehow. Yep, 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 yep. I think extending the kitchen out this way, a couple feet would be great. We only have to make sure we have space for our dining, dining table. I know, like, but. Our couch. The thing is, a big kitchen is it important. Is, yeah, it is a chef's gift. We're not getting rid of any of the mid century details, though, but this is gonna be like a really stunning white oak kitchen, we hope. But let's move into the first bath, which is currently a half bath. We've been married for four years now, sharing a toilet. <laughs> I'm excited to tell you this is your bathroom now. Cool. Well, at least I got my own closet. You're also getting your own closet. About 20% of one closet. Yeah, yeah. We're going to turn this whole corner into a shower, right here, instead of just storage. There's a water heater in here, and we're gonna try to get a smaller one. A so tankless. It's called tankless. So this water heater is like the half size of a regular water heater, pretty big. Tankless should be able to go up on this wall and be like this Teeny big. tiny. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I love about this place, again, mid-century details, first off, you can throw the prayers straight up to God right here. Yo, God. Um, want to make sure we're on like the highly favored list for next year and not like the strongest servants list because like we're good. I don't we're not, even know what that means. What is strongest like, service, servants like, list? Like we're good. We're like, we don't need to be don't on the list. Like, we don't want to be on the grief on trauma list next year. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. You see all these little holes in the stairs. This is a very mid-century detail as is this. We're going to have to bring this up to code because I'm pretty sure we could fall off the side. It seems a little flimsy, so. <laughs> And then this light, super original, this whole area here, 20 foot high ceiling. It's just very, very cool. Guys, we have a guest bedroom now, so you can come over and stay over. I have a full closet. That closet is the size of our entire current home. Crazy. Do you guys remember the Murphy bed from back when Mr. Kate and Joey did my studio apartment? Oh my gosh, keeps place on earth. Oh my gosh, do I live here? We've been storing it at my parents' house. We're gonna bring that here and do like some built-in surrounding it. So that'll be on this wall. It's gonna be like our office, our guest room. Oh, and then we also have laundry, which in LA, a lot of like townhouses do not have. It looks a little sketchy up there, but I guess someone will figure it out. Okay, so this is gonna be our bedroom. Tons of natural light, looking out at the treetops, a big closet for me. They left us an AC unit. What I have to show you is this stunning bathroom with a jacuzzi tub. Come on in. <laughs> so a lot of weird stuff happening in here. Like for example, a lot of weird stuff. The ceiling. But what I will say is this entire place, it's so obvious that it's been taken so well cared of. Well, take it's been it well taken care of. Yeah. So we're just gonna redo this completely. Last thing we have to show them is the outdoor space. I'm gonna go so hard out there. Water feature. Do dinner parties. Garden. There. Dinner parties. I'm gonna put a jacuzzi out there. <laughs> it's just wild that we bought so many houses. Yes. This feels totally different. First thing we've ever bought together this is ours. This is like technically our first house. But I love you. Thanks for doing this. This is all you're getting for Christmas from me. <laughs> See you next time when things are happening here at Casarisi. Let's say it together on the camera. <laughs> this house is called one, one two, two, three. Spanish. Spanish. Lou.
Olive Gardens. Oh. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Mwah. Oh, also, by the way, did we mention like where we're currently living? Our new studio. Yeah, we moved in with my parents. <laughs> there it is. It's a nose flute. What do you call that prison wine that you're drinking? No, oh, this is menage. <laughs> It's not about to go down, it's already down. Down. <laughs>